I might be living your American dream, but I'm nowhere near my, where my dream is, dog. I got, man, I got aspirations. I got big dreams. Kingdom mentors, kingdom coaches, relationship. He has opened doors through relationship and it is your adversary. And to destroy and to hinder kingdom relationship. They bring division because of the flesh that manifests itself and the offenses we commit against each other. And Jesus, when he gave birth to the church through the spirit of the church, a gathering of people, the ecclesia in Greek, the called out ones from the world. He envisioned a growing gathering of people who will live with such a purity. So hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today is a Monday, girl, and Monday. And as you guys can see, I am getting ready for the day. I relax my hair. The relaxing, the relaxer video retouch and relaxer update will be, it should have came out before this video. This is a weekly vlog, so yeah. So you guys saw me start my day. I don't know if I'm wearing a side part or middle. And I'm about to go to work, actually. I know I'm going to be busy. Probably today. I don't know if I want to wear side part. Or just do the middle part. I'm hot, so. So yeah, y'all, I'm just getting ready. Today is Monday. I like really getting myself together. I kind of, I really like Mondays. Um, it's just the start of the week. So. Girl, I'm grateful to be here another week. You know, another Monday. I'm pretty sure it's cricket, but I kind of don't mind. Okay, there we go. But I ain't care. And y'all just heard me listening to Pastor Philip. He is like the pastor that breaks down the word to me to where I really can't understand and comprehend it. I try listening to other preachers, older preachers, preachers who've been around for a long time, and new preachers too. I do like Mr. Jerry as well, but Pastor Philip just talked to me. Like I'm from my hair a little bit, not a lot. I cut probably like an inch, an inch and a half off and it made such a difference, so. I look today, I got this shirt from Boohoo. I got some shorts that go with a set. They just black shorts, y'all. And I got these from, where did I get these from? That's my ice tray. I think I got these from, Where did I get these from? Amazon or Shein, one of them. I got on this top with these shorts, walking around in my hot shoes today, work from home outfit. I do advise you guys, just a few days out the week, just get dressed. Even if you don't get dressed, do your skincare, put on something, even cute pajamas, a cute lounge set. I did do a little bit of makeup today. You don't have to, uh, but, at least do your skincare and put on something comfortable. And I always recommend everyone do their hair every day. Comb your hair. Comb your hair. 
okay? So let me go to work. Hey y'all, so before I go to work, I do got some PR. I got it during the weekend and it's from JBN. I'm so excited to try these products. I actually tried this oil in the relaxer video. As you guys can see, the thing is watery and I love a thin serum, like shine drops. Doesn't have too much of a smell, which I'm okay with. Yeah, it doesn't have too much of a smell. It's so pretty. Y'all, the girls who know, packaging is everything. So I did get some products. I am gonna try these in a week, all of them together and record a video for you guys. I did record a video before and I'm finishing up the products that I got last time. So yeah, so I'm gonna listen to the rest of this sermon and start work. I need to charge my batteries on the camera. I do wanna say just really, really quickly because I've been not wanting to come on here, which I still won't, come on here and talk about, of course, what happened and how I became a single mom. But I will say this, if you are a, a mom in a relationship, um, go to your Bible. This girl, and I'm, I'm touching on this because I did DM a girl after a situation that happened on live. I don't think the lady, it, it, it was from, okay, so it, uh, okay, let me start over. Ashley Dota made, uh, of course she do like level up videos and things like that. I don't think this lady mean any harm at all with any content she do. Um, I actually likes a lot of the stuff she does say. But she did, a young lady did come up, young girl. She came up in a bonnet, um, which I don't think nothing wrong with. I don't know, the girl could have just woke up. So I don't, I wasn't, I don't judge her for that. But people in the comments did when she first got on there. That's why she tell you guys, don't read the comments. But after a while, she got defensive off of the bonnet comment, I could tell. Um... And I could tell you after she tried to like clock the person about the bonnet comment, she ended up, Ashley just kept talking to her, just opening up like, you know, what, what you want to level up about. And she broke down, broke down on camera. And I understood exactly where she was coming from being young. What I got from it is she's in a relationship that she needs to get out of, point bank period. She's in a relationship that is tearing her down to where if you are that emotional, you are crying like that, it's not anything that's good. But I know due to experience, you are not going to be able to leave that relationship until you are fully ready to leave me leaving my relationship to some people probably was a shock some people still don't know that I don't even live in the same state any longer um it's a hard thing to do it's hard when you want you 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 have a vision of something that you see in your head that you want but no one physically, and I always knew that, so I always kept what I was going through to myself, like something really, really, it was something big that happened, but it wasn't something that was like I was getting harmed or any way and people needed to know. I was just so ready to get out of it. I had to calm down and just flow with it. Um... I wanted to leave way sooner than than what I did leave. And I will say this, do not get in this place where you, eventually, now that I'm out of it, all I can say is I wish I would have left sooner because I'm okay. Even though I'm still, you still gonna have some struggling moments. I am not where I wanna be. I still have struggle moments. I have left my hometown 
and came to a new state for better opportunity for myself but majority of it is for my daughter it's a better opportunity here and me and her both have talked about this she agrees that if she would have stayed in the state that we were in she could have ended up being who i am or worse this has been the most challenging difficult decision of my life that i have made and I do not regret it. I didn't want to be older and wish and hope that I would have moved for just a better environment. Um, again, better people. Um, just better. This before I go. If you are a woman and you are in a relationship that you know it's not serving you well. It's not helping you. It's not benefiting you at all. You have to leave and let go as well. Not just leave and you are mad at that person or you are cussing them out. Um, your, inter reaction, your interactions with them is just really bad and you can't talk you can't function um you don't want to be lonely so you're staying you staying for your kid or children baby uh-uh you have to find strength you only are going to be able to do it on your own nobody's going to be able to do it for you but if you get in if you are religious in any way you have to get in your book you have to talk to whoever your God is. If you are Christian, you have to get. If I didn't get in the Bible, y'all, I may be still in the same situation two months ago. I've been in Texas for two months, and it's been a journey, honey. It's been hard. But my, the thing is, it was harder two months before I got here. It was harder. I was put in situations where it just wasn't healthy for me. It just wasn't where I wanted to be, how I wanted to see myself, how I wanted, where I wanted my daughter to be. My daughter is literally, if, if it wasn't for my daughter, I, I would have left years ago. But due to me having a child and me trying to work on a relationship, of course you stay, you try to work things out. Um, it's not going to work. It has not worked. I would be struggling more if I had two kids. I don't know how people with two kids is doing it. I really don't know. And you're a single mom. That is scary. That was always like the us. Uh, it's, it's, if you don't have kids and you see somebody with one and they, it's a struggle. Baby, two. Then you may have a third or a fourth. Then don't have it with, with two people because you didn't learn from the first relationship. Girl, we can go on and on and on. There is a way out, though. If you have two or three, four, five kids, get out, work on yourself, and rebuild, honey. That's all I'm going to say. I made the best decision of my life, but it's, it was the hardest decision of my life as well. I'll see y'all later. You, you want a different kind of food. You don't want this food right here. You want food that's temporary. You don't want food that's eternal. So that we fellowship, so that we, the fellowship, watch this, so that we, the fellowship, would not be outwitted by Satan. Back your decision by not letting that person feel peace. I will deal with their soul until they repent. And this is my prayer for you, that you would remember the words of Jesus. Watch this.
Thank you.